Hello, hello, is anybody there? Just checking that I can actually see that I've gone live in the right place this time. Yes, there I am. Four seconds. Fingers. They're right. I'm going to give it a couple of seconds just to see whether the Lynn gets in. Lynn's bought one of these fab kits. Let me turn it this way. And uh, just needs a bit of help get putting it together because I um, can't find the instructions. So they're on the website, but I couldn't find them myself. So um, I'll go through with you. Let's just see. And I need to see the comments. Oh, and there's my head. <laughs> I don't know if I can see that. That's good. I can see one person's watching, but I don't know who it is yet. Sorry, this has taken me unaware, so I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> Somebody talk to me and let me know you're there. But Lynn, I'm guessing, wants to make this over the Easter holiday, so I'm going to do a quick... Uh, piece together so I've got the actual piece and then I've got Lynn kindly took all the bits out of the kit and put them on this sheet for me so I shall talk you through but I'm just going to see if Lynn comes on oh I can see there's two viewers so say hi let me know who's there and if Lynn doesn't pop in what we can do is have a little conversation but I shall go through putting this together against uh, the actual piece that I made at the wonderful, was it called Linslade Hotel? <laughs> Anyone that was there won't forget it, I'm sure of that. So let's see, I know I've got a delay, but I'm not seeing any comments yet. Ah, oh, oh, I wasn't seeing comments. Hello, Ty. <laughs> Hi, Karen. I don't know when it was Karen, but it was Linslade, and I've got no notes here, and I didn't, I don't, I think I put anything on the back. Sometimes I date my pieces. But look how neat that is. So I'm, that's because I finished it at home, obviously. <laughs> Lynn, Lynn Wade. Oh, it's not even open now, is it? Two years. Yeah, because last year we would have been in lockdown. So it would have been the year before that. Do you remember the rain? Oh my goodness. Driving home, Jenny and I left early um, because mainly Jenny didn't want to stay in that hotel with just me as a neighbour. <laughs> Because I kept telling her the zombies would attack in the night. I, I think I freaked her out a bit. So we left the Sunday afternoon, but we had a heck of a drive home. And, um, oh my goodness, the rain was horrendous. Yeah, I thought it had closed down now, Di. Well, I can't see Lynn popping in. She said um, she couldn't find these, but thankfully she provided me with this photo. Um <laughs> Oh, thanks, Karen. I'm wonderful company, especially if I know someone's scared. I will do all the woo. I'll run about up and down the corridors as well. Terrible. <laughs> I've never, <laughs> I've never seen indoor rain like it either. Wasn't it funny? Uh, funny and scary. I remember being in the bar just before. I think it was just before you went to get fish and chips. I'd only just. Had I just arrived? I can't remember. But I remember going, so, oh, can I go and have a look around in the room? Yeah, yeah, Dad says Di. So I went, wandered in to have a look around. And it was like, okay, hell! <laughs> the rain was gushing through. Oh, dear. And that's Peacock. <laughs> that was just so funny. Anyway, I can't see Lynn um, Gauntlet, is her name? Yeah, Lynn. So what I might do is just go ahead if you see anything that I've missed out, please let me know because I did this as a class with Hannah teaching. So I may um, uh, I may miss something, but I should be okay. I've got all the bits here and I've got my finished one. So let's have a look. I love the peacock too, but when it was above your head, it, yeah, when we arrived, Karen, it was in a power car and they, were t they couldn't put me in my room. They wouldn't let me into my room because they couldn't book me in. And I'm thinking, well, just give me a free room. You've got the keys behind you. Just give me one of those keys. Oh, and I looked then and I thought, mm, this is going to be a fun weekend. Um, but yeah, that peacock, when it was on the plastic roof over our heads, it was like some velociraptor tapping, tap dancing across the roof. 
and all the towels stuffed in the window to stop the rain coming in. And we had to move, I think Lynn was on the table behind me. I was on the table with Jenny and we just had to keep moving the tables because the rain was coming through on our projects. <laughs> got fish and chips and they laid all the tables out for us oh goodness me I'll tell you what anyone that was there for that weekend has got some fat memories because it was still a great weekend it was just <laughs> I love the way everyone pulled together ran out of meat on the carvery with they? <laughs> they did and so they rationed us <laughs> they rationed us on the Sunday <laughs> Can you believe telling these stories? No one would believe you, would you? Would they? That that was a proper hotel. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it, was, it was, and yet everyone that talks about it laughs about it. So, what a great crowd, eh? Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I'm just going to blow my nose, and then I'm going to try and do this. Excuse me. I've got, I'm a hay fever. For goodness sake, we get through all of this. My hay, was, hay fever's kicked in. So I'm a bit snotty, which of course you don't dare sneeze outside. We've been over the forest today. And as soon as you sneeze, everyone gives you killer looks. <laughs> it doesn't, does it, Karen? And I have to say that was just, uh, I'm just glad. I've, I met new people there as well that I hadn't met before. And it was just really nice. I'd never crafted with Jenny before and she's absolutely delighted. She was a really nice person to spend time with, even though I did scare her at the end. <laughs> mustn't talk about zombies don't mention the zombies <laughs> anyway i'm giggling i haven't had enough chocolate i haven't had any chocolate we forgot to buy easter eggs this doesn't really bother us so i thought on the way back from the forest today we thought oh, we'll nip in sainsbury's and just get a cheap old dairy milk egg no they've got none none <laughs> right let's have a look at this please correct me if i miss anything di if you if you can remember because it was um was it Hannah's project and I haven't seen many of these made and yet it was really good I really enjoyed this and I really love how mine's come out so let's have a look I'm going to try and keep both in frame if I let me stand up so I can see if I tilt that this way a bit you almost want these in sections right so what we have I believe this section here can you see this let's make sure you can see I'll just wait Wait for it to catch up to where my pen is pointing. Mm. You can, good. Okay. So, Lynn, this is just for you. Of course, we might edit it and keep it for future reference anyway. This piece here, which is a little bit far from the camera, but is three pieces, and this is your backbone. So these three arches, can you see this living hinge here? If I lift it up a bit, for anybody that's not seen it actually, there's a living hinge here. and So you've got the living hinge and your arches, three uh, MDF arches. So if I hold it up like this, you can see it's this bit in the middle here. And this middle arch is what this is hinged to. And so then I believe we've got two more lots of arches one holds the big circle that's going to hold these are um oh, acrylic um so this paper this is a white covering on it and you'll peel that paper off so what happens is let me have a look because i can't remember which way around i think the mdf is oh i might be able to see i don't know oh, that's so funny because i've covered it in so much stuff your mdf pieces are go at the back and they i guess make it nice and stiff at the back so your MDF pieces are this bit at the back if I turn it over I've painted mine grey okay and your grey board ones that are the complete arch they haven't got a circle in these are going to go on the front so this piece here if I turn it sideways catches up and stand up if I turn it sideways can you see that goes in so these this piece here is this piece here, okay? So you've got your hinged part of three arches with circles in, then you've got the grey board with the circle in is your back piece, and your grey board arch, like a frame, goes on the front, okay? And they fit exactly. And then you've got these perspex pieces, oh, 
Perspex pieces. Oh, don't say that fast. Yes, MGF at the back. Thanks, Di. Um, I don't mean Perspex even after managing to say it three times. Uh, these acrylic pieces, you'd peel the um, protective paper off after all plastic, I think it is. Peel it off, but I'd leave it on for now because otherwise, if you're anything like me, you'll get it covered in paint. And then you've got two, I believe that's the size of the Zodiac. And that, one's the sign of the Zodiac. And what's the other one then? Mmm. Die, help. <laughs> one's the sign of the Zodiac, which is those, you know, Leo, Taurus, whatever. And the other one is, um, well, one of us will come up with that. I've forgotten. And then you've got two suns. So if you can see, if I turn this over, I'm being careful because I don't handle it much. I have a candle behind and at night it shines through these. It just looks amazing. It still looks amazing. Hold on. I'm getting there, Karen. I'm getting there. Easy, love. <laughs> so let me just turn it over. I think... What I did with the Perspex pieces, per, oh, I've done it again, acrylic pieces, hand designed, I'll ask Hannah, um, it might come to me in a minute anyway. The Perspex pieces are the last thing. Hmm. No, step back, that's all right, Karen. It's gonna make me think anyway, I've got to go through it all, so. I think they went on next because otherwise these pieces have got nothing to grip onto. So you would decorate all of the pieces and then you would put the MDF on, you'd put the frame on, then you'd put the Perspex pieces on. But what I would suggest you do is take one side of the protective layer off stick it down, keep the protective layer on the back because look, nothing gets stuck to the back. Keep that protective layer on because this is gonna get covered in paint and glue and all sorts probably. If you're anything like me, you can clean it off before you paint it. And that would be the same with the Perspex. I'd keep the protective layer on the back. And then on the front, you have your choice of putting in the Zodiac sign and the Hufflepuffle. This one goes here. That's the moon, symbols of the moon, but that's male, uh, female. You've got the male and female symbols. Symbols, yeah, that's the right word. I don't know. I don't know, isn't that weird? Um, so the two suns go together and they should be in your pack. I can't see it there, I hope you haven't thrown it away. A circle, a circle from the middle of here, which is going to go in the middle of your suns. So I would have thought that would have been in the pack as well. And the suns you offset um, so that you've got, can you see all the spikes? And then I've got a circle in the middle. I'm pretty sure that should have come in your pack, but it may be. No, it should have come in your pack. In fact, yeah, there should be a circle and it's the circle out the middle of here, I'm sure of it. Oh, there it is. I can see it on your desk. Don't throw that away. That's the circle that goes in the middle of your sun. If you want it to, of course, it's your designs. So you can do what you like. So I think that's everything. The two circles offset with the middle. Either way, you can, oh, you can put it in any which way you like, can't you? And the very last thing you do then is paint the backs. I think we did. And then I peeled off the pieces. Just protect. It saves them from being scratched. Even if you're neat, it will save them from being scratched. So, the triple part, the front frames, the back frames, then the perspex, but keep one side of the protective cover on, then these inserts, then take your backings off. Jobs are good and Hi, Lynn. Oh, would one of the symbols be the months? I don't know. Because you've got male and female symbols, you see. I don't know any of the months that are male and... I'll text Hannah later and find out. Um, I don't want all right, I don't want... Oh, let me, t let me try on here if you've got a minute. 
What's everyone been up to this Easter anyway? We just got back from the forest, went for a sunset um, paddle yesterday and then um, I'm going paddling in the morning on the canal and then I've got an improver session for paddling Monday night. So we've actually got quite an active, while I'm paddling, um, Fergus runs because I can't run at the moment. Hi Lynn. Oh, does it, were you there as well, Lynn? I'm sorry, I forget who's there. Cause we were thinking it's two Septembers ago. Oh, were you? <laughs> Cabin painting, oh, you've got a lot to do, haven't you? How's it looking? Is it insulated and stuff? I'm just gonna talk to Hannah while I do this. Oh, Hannah might not answer because she's moving this weekend, but let me have a look, because she's quite active, isn't she? Quite active on um, Facebook and stuff. It's so funny because Lynn's the one that needed this. Lynn Gauntlet, that is Lynn. And um, she's not there. But I did say it was impromptu. I don't mind. I can't. It won't let me um, send a message on my iPad. Oh, for God's sake, there's always something, isn't there? It's the all in Messenger. Oh, fiddly dee. I don't know if it was something to do with the planets, um, Karen, because that's the zodiac, isn't it? Oh no, the zodiac's more than months. Maybe it was the planets. Sign for Mars. Oh, that could be it. They could be the months, but... Two family dinners in the garden so far. Oh, how nice. Oh, that must have been lovely, Lynn. Have you got the weather where you are? Oh, I'm glad it's looking good, Di. You'll have to show us, you'll have to take some pictures for us to see. I can't get hold of Hannah. Can anyone text Hannah and say, oh, oi? Oi. No, why can't I do that? Oh, do you know, technology sometimes. Do you think you've got a handle on it and it all goes to pop? I want to do a new message. It just won't do it on there. Let me try it on here. I'm going to lose you for a minute, probably. Let me. Oh, look, you can see me doing it. Oh, now I've gone into YouTube. That's not right, is it? I want Messenger. Don't look at my messages. That's privacy and all that. Hannah. Hello. Was that? One was Zeus. There was Zodiac. But what was the other symbols? Oh, terrible English, but hey, she's moving, she won't even notice. <laughs> Just have to wait for her to come back now. So I'll put that bit of technology, which is working there. We froze our tries. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you in the garden? Oh, well done, Karen. Yeah, got to go. Okay, Lynn, take care. Have a good rest of your holiday. Google planet symbols. Oh, well done. Oh, look at you. You can see me working there. So funny. Actually, my project looks good. Like I say, I have um, uh, a candle behind these and it looks lovely. Oh, that's cool. I'm sure I had to, look at my hands moving. I've actually got a sore thumb here. I was paddling so hard, the wind picked up last night. We had a really nice time, it was on the river. And it should have been really easy, but the pink, uh, the weather, uh, the wind picked up and you have to paddle really hard. Well, my hands aren't used to paddling. So down here, because you grab the paddle and you're going this way like that and pull towards you. So all along here, oh. And I'm stronger on my left side than my right for some reason. Anyway, anywho, yeah, I'm not really expecting an immediate answer from Hannah simply because um, I think she's moving this weekend. Anyway, Lynn Gauntlet, I think that's it. If I've missed anything, um, please do give a holler. But I think that's it, other than my <laughs> usual waffling. So good luck. Please show us a picture when you've done it. 
I really enjoyed this class, even though this was the one I actually finished halfway through because I had to leave before, because we were getting um, storm reports. I seem to remember that the weather was going to get worse out both um, Jenny and I live out um, towards, um, she lives North Hants and I'm in Buckingham, near Buckingham. And the weather towards us was so awful that we went, we're leaving now, otherwise we may never leave. And being trapped in that hotel just <laughs> was a nightmare. Battling banjos comes to mind. Anyway, I'm off now. Have a lovely rest of your Easter. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anything in here, I hope. We'll see, won't we? Have a lovely time, lovely. The sun's just come out here and um, I think the pizza's just being made, so. We're going to go and do that now. And no chocolate, can you believe? Anyway, have a lovely time. Speak to you soon. Uh, oh, I will upload the video. I didn't think of doing that. Yeah, I needed it for Lynn. I'll do that. I'll put it on YouTube as well. Even with all the chatter. Meh. Why not? Anyway, bye-bye, folks.